Set and drift, practice problem one. At 1516, your position is 4111.3, longitude 7148.6. You're on course 300 per standard magnetic compass at 9.4 knots. At 1600, your position is latitude 4114, longitude 7158.1. What were the set and drift? In this first practice problem, we need to find the starting point the ending point, and then plot our course, then find the distance up that course and measure the set and the drift of our current. In this first problem, I'm going to do it in just that order. And on the second and third problem, you're going to see a bit more streamlined process where I do all of the math that I need first, and then I plot on the chart. So here we go. At 1516, our position, here's our start position, here's our end position, here's our course. Going to find the start position, then the end position, and then plot our course. Start position, 4111.3. So 4111.3, 7148.6. six is over here, and 4111.3, 4111.3 is over here. I'm going to be right in here. And at this point, I need, to do, I need to decide which, do I get my latitude first, longitude first? How am I doing that? So I'm going to get my latitude first. And it said it was 7148.6. 48.6. Line it up north and south. 48.6 is going to be over here. Oh, it's going to be way over here. Here we go. 48.6 north and south. 45, 678.6. Okay, now we're at 7148.6. And it's going to be 11.3. So we're going to be right up in here. I'm going to go from this line there. Now I'll get 11.3. My dividers, 11.4.3 will come up from here. All right, here's my starting point. Start. Now I'll find my ending point. 4114, 7158. So we're going to be up here at 7158 over here. 7158. 58, line up north and south, now 55, 56, 57, 58 point what? 58, 58 point one, six, seven, eight point one, and 41, 14, so I'm going to be all the way, I need to make my line at least this long, now I'm going to get my dividers, and go up to 14 and if, let's make sure it was 14 0 yes it was we'll go up this line from make sure we're staying relatively okay two right here double check look I'm a little bit short there And adjust it. You know, we want to be accurate on these problems because we spend quite a bit of time going through them. So we might as well do it right the first time. Double check, triple check. Here's our ending point. So now we have our starting point, our ending point, and now we need to find the intended course. And our intended course here was 300 per standard magnetic compass. To put this on the chart, we use this true, so we need to correct this. We say T, V, M, D, C. We're down here, 300. 300 degrees P, S, C. And we use our deviation table. Get deviation for 300 is zero. All right, 300. And 15 west for the Block Island chart for our intents and purposes. So 300 minus 15, we're going up, is 285. 
285 degrees true. We take this course, this is the course we set off to travel, but a current affected us and we ended up over here, which is a bit off course. 285, 285. And we're going from our starting point. A big part of these problems is where did I start? Where am I going? It seems simple, but it's easy to mess up. So I started and I'm going toward 285. And I'm gonna go a nice distance past where my end mark was. Okay, here we are. That is the course we set off on. Now how far down this course do we go? We have our start, we found our end, we plotted our course. Now we need to do some math and figure out how far down this course were we going if we set off for a specific amount of time going a certain speed. Because speed times time is equal to distance and we're given that in the problem. So let's look at this D street. D street, distance, speed, time. We're given a speed in the problem. We're given 9.4 knots, 9.4 nautical miles per hour. We can calculate a time because it gives us an ending time 1600 minus starting time, 1516. So we go 1600 minus 1516. And now don't make this too complicated. Look at your mental math here. You know, how much does it take to get from 1516 to 1600? 44 minutes. We do it every day. Now 44 minutes. We need to convert this to hours to work here. So we divide by 60 and we get clear on clear 44 divided by 60 equals 0 0.73, 0 0.73 hours. And that's our time. Time was 0 0.73 hours. Distance, if we look at our D street memory thing, Speed times time is distance. So distance is equal to speed times time. We do that and we'll get the distance down this line. Clear. So 9.4 nautical miles per hour times 0.73 hours equals 6.862. So I'm gonna say 6.86. 6.86 nautical miles. For these problems, I tend to take distances to two decimal places because I just feel that it helps. So now this distance, 6.86 nautical miles. That's how far we traveled down from our start to, that's how far we should have traveled down this line if no current was acting on us. 6.86, 6, no that's 5, 6, 6.8. I'm going to cut it in half and do 6.86. Good. Now we go from our start down 6.86. Mark it. Put a mark. Okay. This is our dead reckoning line. This is where we reckon we should end up. We ended up here. So a current pushed us from here to there. What degrees? did that current push us at. That's the set. And this distance divided by the time it took us to travel that distance is our drift, which is a speed. So take our dividers, stick them in these two holes, bump the parallel rules. Okay, and this is going to be our set. This keep on here and we're gonna use it for our distance. Okay, so we walk these over. And now this part can confuse people, right? Where did I start? Where did I end up? Where was I going? You reckon you should have been here and you got pushed this way. We went that way. We got pushed this way on the compass. And I am recording 229. 229, our set is 229. Two, 
two nine degrees true and now we got to find our drift and remember your drift will generally be closer than your set and the drift we need another d street for here's our d street distance speed time we're looking for speed we have our time 0.73 because it took us 0.73 hours to get pushed that far. Now what's our distance? We recorded those on the distance on our dividers, right? When we went this, right? that's our distance. We come over, measure our distance, say 1.1, 1 1.2. So distance, we're closest to 1.2. And so that gives us a speed is equal to distance divided by time, which equals Distance divided by time, clear. 1.2 divided by 0.73 equals 1.64, 1.6 nautical miles per hour. So we're looking at our set. We had a set of 229 and a drift, which was equal to a speed of 1.6, 1.6 knots. Let's check our answers. So here we see what's interesting. Okay, 229. If we are on the correct side of the compass, then we're limited to two. There's two that are in the 100s, 142 and one. Those can both go. It's the other side of the compass. We're at 229, which is closer to 332. And I know that seems a bit off, but when you're working with two dots very close, your set may vary. I mean, you don't want it any more than 10 degrees, but it might be five off like we are here. We're actually, we're three off, three degrees off. That's not bad. And we got 1.5 knots. So we, and the other one was 1.1 1 .1 at 347. We're much closer to C. 332 true at 1.5 knots. Let's check that. Number one. And we said it was number one is C. Number one is C. So the correct answer to set and drift practice problem one is C. 332 at 1.5 knots.